Hey guys, what is up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to make Minecraft 3D on Scratch. I know, right? It sounds crazy. It's really easy, but, but um, yeah, it doesn't involve like too much advanced code. It doesn't involve any advanced coding. I can't talk today, so forgive me about that and um so what you're gonna do first is make a line like that and then like that. then go down there so this will be your player hand you see and then you need to convert it to bitmap to fill it in but okay I don't want to do that so all right there we go once you have your hand, all you have to do is once I click, go to zero, zero. And then you're gonna need to make a backdrop like this that has like your grass is like up here. So, um, you know, since it's 3D, you want it to look like there's a huge landscape out there. So like that. And then what I did for my sky was um here when I went to fill, I just did that and then I did a uh, uh I did a white and a blue. So there was a blue right here and a white right there. So you would get that look. And then once you have that, I spent a long time thinking this through and making trees forever and ever and ever. But then, um, yeah, I could have just done that. Yeah, okay. That was just very stupid of me. And so what you want to do with this tree is do one flat click <clears throat> go to let's see let's make him let's make the tree go right there your negative 92 43 you could put him where you could put the tree wherever you want oh and one more thing you are going to have to make the cursor thing in the middle. I have a really cool trick. All you gotta do is the plus sign on your computer and just make it bigger. So you have your um, crosshair thing. And then once you have that, you want it to go to zero, zero. So. All right. I think that might be a little too big. So I'm gonna set your size to 70. That's better. All right. So, so far, you can't do anything, but for the trees here, you're going to do forever if he right or yeah, if he right pressed, then you're going to change X by let's say five 
that's the speed. Then you're gonna duplicate that and then do negative five. So now, if, That's odd. Okay guys, I'll be back in a minute and I'll see what problem I made. All right guys, I figured out my mistake. Well, it wasn't a mistake, it was some glitch. So I decided to um, change my code. And you can pause the video if you're following along to copy down this code right here. And and then go to the tree and then this code right there. All right. So once you have that, your game should be looking a little bit like this. What you can do is um duplicate this. But then um Change this to a house. So I'm going to see if there's a house in here. Okay, so there is no house. Is there a house? I know there's buildings. There's a lot of buildings. I can find a house. Um. I get okay guys oh uh, okay I talked weird but all right I got this house house and um I copied the same code here but over here I changed the go to and the size um different and if you're wondering where I got that from I got it off of Google I was gonna do this yellow house but then i had a red house um already on, saved on the computer or what i could have done is just change the color of that but anyways your game should be looking okay that's just but it should be looking like that and so, what we can do here for the house is, um, I feel like that it's a little bit too, it's like cut, taking over the tree. So, we could put the tree and do go to front layer so if this happens the tree is in front because we're gonna be making a feature that lets you break the tree all right so you want to go to the tree here and then do one flag click just do that all right do one flag click forever if touching the crosshair guy just name him cross hair. All right, if touching the crosshair. 
and and size here do that and then do this get equals to and size is equal to or greater than or greater than let's see what would be a good size and um you also want the crosshair to go in the front layer so um yep all right and let's see what size would be good here I'd say 235. Sizes. Five. Then. All right, and we need another and. Key space pressed or not space. Let's do hmm. Let's do key B then Okay. Then you want to change ghost effect by 25. Let's see. Okay, not 25. Okay, and then you want to do one side click. You want to set the ghost effect to zero. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so, alright guys, that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button and that, and smash that subscribe button, and um, hit the bell to receive notifications whenever I post a new video, and have a good Easter. And goodbye.